Hey guys, it's Rebecca Ristat, and today I'm going to be doing eight looks with just the the Pisces palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the third palette that they have put out in the mini Zodiac line, and it is a lot of greens. There are some neutral tones in here as well. I will also be including pictures. When I do the look, you'll see like a picture of the finished look first, and it will tell you what look number it is. Then when I get into the actual video process like of me applying the shades, you'll see like a little picture of the palette up here. Well, it'll actually look like this. And you'll see an emblem or symbol over the color that I'm using that way. If you have this little guy, you can follow along with me. But I'm sporting look one and look two right now out of this palette. This is beautiful. So hopefully this is helpful with showing you what these look like hours and hours later. Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstadt. So I'm going to be doing eight looks with the BH Cosmetics Pisces Zodiac palette. I am wearing two looks today. I did record looks one and two yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. And I don't know how much of it actually recorded, so I might have to redo those looks. I know that looking back at the video footage on my phone uh, doesn't look like most of it got recorded or my phone kept saying storage was full, so I most likely lost those video files. So technically I am wearing two looks today. This is look four and look six, but I renumbered them to four and five because they had two of the same base colors. The only difference was the shimmer that I used. And because I'm wearing like a turquoisey colored shirt, I wanted to include this, this color here. And I'm wearing this color on one eye and this color on the other eye. 
and so I'm really happy with how they turned out. I did like darken one eye with liner on the top and rim um, the upper waterline and the bottom waterline and I winged out the side that has the the like pinkish shifting shade um, on this eye and then on this eye has the turquoise color just kind of popped in the center and I applied it dry and then I went back over it with my finger. So um, I'm sporting two very similar looks but I applied the colors a little bit differently and of course I'm using two different shimmers. So I wanted to show you that by using the same two base colors that you can get a very similar look but it doesn't have to be the same look and you can apply it like I did with just the shimmer on the first half of the lid or like I did on this side where I just kind of popped it in the very center of my lid. So my entire lid is one solid matte shade and then my crease is one matte shade. And then I just kind of put the color in the very center that's the shimmer. And then on this side, I put a matte in the crease and a matte on the outer half and you know, and then I put the shimmer on the inside. You can do it that way. You can do um, a more defined halo eye where you actually put concealer in the center and then pop that shimmer in the center. You can do the entire lid, which is like a cut crease. You, there's so many different like placement options that you can do and use the same three colors or four colors, depending on whether or not you wanna add one or subtract one um, and get use the same three colors and get a different look every time. So I'm gonna try and do that for another look where I use the same three shades on each eye but different placement. So you can see the differences in just how uh, it looks, how it comes across on the eye, what it does to the actual eye shape, that kind of thing. So hopefully you enjoy this again, um, my I did looks out of order, so technically this is three and four, but I've written them down as four and six. So hopefully you guys enjoy.
today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different because both of the eyes are going to be using the same first two colors. I'm going to be applying them and then, um, you know, I'll split off and do the extra things after. I'm going to be showing you two different techniques that I know how to do that I like the way that they look for getting the same or similar looks. The only difference is I'm going to be using a different shimmer shade and that's basically it. So I'm going to start off with the first shade. This is the third shade in the palette, this like brown shade, and then I'm going to pop this into my crease, which in me doing the math for the palette, it's shade eight. So I'm working with shade three and shade eight on the, the crease and then doing defining things on my eyes. So I'm going to be using both of the shades on both eyes. I'm having issues with dry skin on the corner of my eyes on both eyes, so it's not the eyeshadow's fault that it looks a little patchy. It's my eye, and I put all kinds of creams and stuff on it, and it don't it doesn't want to like go away. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting Okay, so now that I have the main two colors down, I'm going to be doing a spotlight eye on one eye and a halo eye on the other. There is a difference between one and the other. A halo eye is what I'm going to be doing on my right eye or on the screen it's the, the left eye for you but it's where I'm putting concealer on my lid right now this is the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair it was closer to grab than the Makeup Revolution in C2 but basically I'm just tapping it in between those dark browns where I put it on the inner and the outer corner a Halo eye is basically where you have one segregated color in the center of your lid, whereas a spotlight eye is kind of the same theory, but you don't like carve it out. And this is just a little synthetic brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Lexi 245. This is a small shader brush, and I'm going to go into shade six, which is this color that reminds me of Glass Bowl from ColourPop. And this is a dry brush. And I'm going to put that right over where I put the concealer and the concealer is still tacky and wet and I'm tapping it first to get the color on and then I'm gonna go back and I will swipe Now, now that is on, I'm going to come back with my finger and tap over the edges and then bring that brush back in for the crease that I applied the dark brown with and I'm even going to tap into the light uh, into that brown and kind of 
we'll work that onto the top. And I do have glitter particles on the inner part of my eye as well from tapping that with my finger. And there is some fallout underneath here as well. And usually I just take my big powder uh, brush and it should sweep it right away. So here is the halo eye. And now I'm gonna show you the spotlight eye on the other one. This is another synthetic brush. It is dry. I do have that shade, the same shade. I'm going into this shade here. And I'm going to tap this right into the center of the lid over that dark brown. So whereas the other eye left the center of it blank, this eye, I'm actually taking it and I'm just tapping it Now, if you wanted this more opaque looking, you could take your finger and that actually brings out more of the green in the shade versus the like lavender hint that you get on this side. There is green and pink glitter in this shade. You could also do this with a wet brush, but I just wanted to show you, I did switch brushes on purpose because I wanted to be able to use it wet if I wanted to, but there it is there. And then lastly, I'm going to take the center shade and do my inner corner, my underneath my eyebrow, and then underneath the inner part of my eye on both eyes. Here, I got time. Clear to see from up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. Now, that's basically the completed look. I'm going to come closer so that you can see both of these up close, as well as you know, I already came on here with blush, bronzer, highlight on, concealer, corrector. I will everything will be linked down below um, because this is part of the eight looks one palette kind of thing but i figured since i talked about this in my video that i recorded yesterday for this palette as well that had looks three and four in it i think no four and five heck i don't remember i've done one two three four five okay so this is look five and six right now um, I talked about using the same shades but different techniques to show you that you can use the exact same shades but get completely different looks, which is what I wanted to show is that you have the ability to use the exact same shades from the palette. Even though there's only nine shades in here, you can use the same shades but using different techniques will give you completely different looks. And even though these are very similar, they are enough of a difference to stand out, especially on the eye. I do have very uh, fair skin. I have light eyes and dark hair. So using colors like these kind of make my eyes pop. And I think the halo eye versus the spotlight eye, there are enough differences that you can see the difference in how my eyes react to the different shades. So hopefully you find this helpful. Um, I already came on with mascara on because I like that my lashes are darker and more defined so that you can see it. I'm not going to use any liner on the top. I'm going to put a white liner on my waterline and put another coat of mascara on really quick and then I'll show you a close up. So hopefully you enjoy looks five and six using the BH Cosmetics Pisces palette. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing the last two looks for the Pisces palette 
but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I've only used the tape method a few times. Um, one, because I have very sensitive skin, and two, it's always kind of like scared me to like get them uneven. So this is just regular, you know, box tape, and I put it on the back of my hand, and then I'll, and it takes off like dead skin cells. So I put it on the back of both hands at least once so that it's not as sticky. And then I, I mean, you could rip it along the perforations on either side and then, um, you know, you have two even halves or you can cut it like I did. Now, what I do is I kind of take it underneath the edge of my eye and I just kind of start the one side and then you will want to make sure that you're using the flat side, not the side that you, you know, cut it or ripped it on. And then that's when I'll come in with an actual palette. And look, I've got a wrinkle on this side where I got a little bit aggressive putting it on. And I don't have any concealer or corrector or anything else done. So then I'll come in on this side and I'm leaving a good quarter of an inch and that's how I apply the tape and then I leave it on to do the entire eye look so I just wanted to show you how I apply the tape before I actually get into the look I will be using different colors on each eye but I wanted to show you this part of it first Hello. it's so beautiful Meant to be in the great outdoor. I'm also recording both eyes at once because the first three shades I'm using are all the same. So that I use the very first one in the palette. I'm going in with this one now, and then I will be using this dark one last. And then the shimmer shades will actually be what's different. So hopefully that helps. And I do have a bunch of dry spots on my eyelids from here due to an allergic reaction to one of these. And that video will go up soon on my YouTube channel.
Okay, so now I've got face makeup on, liner, and mascara. I'm gonna go in and do the bottom lash line, starting with that darkest shade first, right up against my lash line on both eyes. And then connecting it to the wing. This is the Chella Brown Liquid Liner I have on. Now I've gone about three quarters of the way in on both. I'm gonna take the second brush that I used in the second color and then I'm gonna smoke that out. 